news. Well, on Monday, you may remember, we spoke to former Conservative Party Chair John Stringer. He made some extraordinary claims, suggesting party leader Colin Craig has got more to hide. Take a look at this. I think we can survive once Colin Craig's been removed. I mean, there are some other king hits to come yet, and I want to send a challenge out to the people still supporting him. After all the allegations, there is more to come. Colin Craig has got more to hide. It's coming out, and it will come out. The Conservative Party and the leadership and the governance... Look, just remember, 11 of Colin's governing officials have resigned because of his behaviour and because we've seen the documented allegations about him that are still to come out. That should send warning bells and red flags to the party membership. And I'm saying You're to saying tonight there are more allegations, serious allegations against uh, Colin Cray to come out. Yes, several of the board members have seen those documented. That's why they resigned. Nobody resigned from this party because I spoke out in the media following other members speaking out. Colin Craig is untenable as a political leader of anything. And Colin Craig is with us now to defend those allegations. Welcome to the programme. Thanks for your time tonight. Hi. Thank Colin Craig is untenable at anything. What's your response to that? Well, Mr Stringer's got his own opinion. Um, I don't think that's a very valid opinion. Uh, it's not for him to decide, of course, at the end of the day. Uh, for the Conservative Party that's decided by the board and the members. John Stringer said to me there are more king hits to come, there are more serious allegations to come. Do you have any idea of what he may be on uh, about? No, not at all. And I think um, that's just game playing. Look, if he's been um, very public and outspoken about his criticisms of me, I'm sure if he had anything else to say, he could say it. There are many in the media circles, and both on the left and the right, who are saying your political career is completely gone. What's your response to that? Because well, they're right to a certain degree, aren't they? Well, I don't think they are. It's not for them to decide. And actually, I haven't made it for me to decide either. Uh, we're going through a process where we're consulting with members and supporters and they're giving us feedback as to what they think. Um, we've got hundreds, probably well over a thousand responses in already. Um, that's giving us a flavour. Certainly the vast majority are supportive. How that works out is something that's still to be decided. But here's the deal. The Conservative Party doesn't effectively have a leader. It doesn't really have a board. You are rudderless and leaderless. There ain't no party, though, Colin. Well, I think that's an over-exaggeration. The reality is that... Uh, Hang on, do you have a leader? Uh, the process is... Do we, you have a leader? No, well, obviously not, because i Do you have a board? Uh, no, but when so the that's process, not an we are in the process of electing one. Mm -hmm. And that's our standard process in the Conservative Party. We're a party that believes in referendum. We're a party that believes in the right of people to decide. That's the way we elect our board. Sure, we've had to bring it forward by about two months, but the reality is it's a process we've gone through before, it's a process we go through again. It's just not that big a drama. I want to bring you back to the press conference you held a few weeks ago sure. now. It was bizarre. Do you look back at now and think you could have done it better? It looked bizarre, and I'll tell you why, because you stood there or you were sitting down and you essentially said you were sort of sorry, but we didn't really know what you were sorry mm. for, because mm. you say that there were no serious allegations, but you had to say sorry because there was inappropriate behaviour. So what I'm trying to get from you tonight is the spectrum and the line. Where is that line and where did you cross it? Well, look, I think that's an obvious question people want to ask. Uh, I am in a position where I can't talk openly and freely about all the allegations that have been made. Uh, we have requested the ability to do that, um, and it would be great to be able to do that. So that's what we've asked for. We haven't got agreement from the other party to do that. So until we have that, um, we are a little bit hamstrung in terms of what we can actually respond to. What we did respond to was the big, the mischievous allegations that were out there. Those had to, those had to be sorted out. Well, uh, talking about mischievous, I guess you would say that John Stringer continues to make allegations, but at the same time doesn't. Have you mm -hmm. spoken to him since the interview on CTV News? And if not, why not? No, look, I haven't. Um, I don't have any ongoing correspondence with Mr Stringer at the moment. Um, my last correspondence with him was formal, simply saying, look, you've made a lot of allegations, you need to retract those, they're baseless. Um, he hasn't come back to me formally in any way on that. You've sent out a letter uh, to current members... And, that, that and supporters, yeah. ...asking for forgiveness. Forgiveness from what, though? Well, look, um, I'm not claiming to be a perfect leader, and there are some things that people have raised and some of those criticisms that people have raised along the way, some of the way maybe my answers in interviews. Um, there's always this thing of, can your leader in a political party be perfect? Um, I, I wanted to make it very clear to the membership and to supporters, I'm not a 100% perfect person, and I don't want them to think I am. 
I want to know that they'll support me uh, in, in who I am, whether I make the odd mistake or not. No, I'm new to politics. I only started this three and a half years ago. The and I haven't always got it right. And I, I feel it's very transparent. Um, to go back to people and say, what do you think? Oh, I'm not in this for myself, I'm in this to represent people. If they feel I can do that, then I'm happy to put my hand up. The trouble is, the brand Conservative Party is Colin Craig. Colin Craig and the Conservative Party, many would argue, is now tarnished because the Conservative Party builds its reputation mm. on family mm. values. Mm. Now, the allegations are what we do know so far. There is, you know, a former press secretary, mm. a nice female blonde, inappropriate behaviour. It doesn't set the best example mm. for a party that relies on the family values brand, though, does it? Uh, look, and I understand that concern, and people are raising that, and they're saying, well, look, this is something that you know, that is, makes you untenable. And some people are thinking like that. Not the majority, um, but obviously it's a concern and I recognise that and I think that's the importance of going out to members and going, well, look, I'm not saying I've been 100% right or perfect at all times. Do you still support me or not? And I think that's a very transparent, honest process. It's what I agreed that I would do with the previous board. Um, and when we get that feedback, it'll be there for the board to consider. Do you feel embarrassed at all the fact that you're, the majority of your board said, see you, Colin Craig, we don't want anything to do with you. Well, I think you've got to remember that I had stood... No, no one resigned prior to me standing down. Once I stood down, the board needed to take it forward. A number of those board members have talked to me about why they resigned. It's more complicated than Mr Stringer would have you believe. Um, it became a very hostile and um, very open environment where you weren't safe from you know, disclosure of anything you might have written. That's hard environment to operate in. In a way though, you've lost one of your greatest and most outspoken and highly publicised members, Christine Rankin. Mm. Mm. Does, did, does that hurt you? Well, I think it does matter to me. Of course it matters to me. And uh, there's a discussion that I want to have with her at some stage about that. Colin Craig, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you very much.